I'm gonna punch a hole through a wall. Seriously, this is getting freaking ridiculous. I mean, so many freaking things have to go wrong. Like, why? How does a cheat cheat dart from one side of the pond that it's bouncing into the other just to hit me? I'm not even near it, but it's like boop boo. I freaking hate cheap cheeps. Starting to get the, starting to get a little angry with this game. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, let's screw. Let's be war. Mario, not Wario. I've been Wario already. There's no reason for me to be Wario again unless I want to be. But hey, I'll I'll be fair. I'll I'll you be the uh, I'll be the six of them. Hell, I may, I may even try Bowser. But to be fair, Bowser. I need cars that handle really well, and Bowser and Donkey Kong do not have cars that handle really well. Oh, DK, you item whore! Oh well. And this is, as you would notice, it was Koopa Beach 2. Which means there are multiple Koopa Beaches in the original Super Nintendo game. Now, I'm not going to hold that against them. I mean, I know they had a short, small budget to work with. And it was just an experimental game, too. It's sort of like Super, the original Super Smash Brothers in that you have to really, you have to be patient with them. And it'd be like, oh, well, we're, we're just getting started, so we'll, we'll definitely be better, but you got to be just at least a little flexible with us. You know what? I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt because the rest of the Mario Kart games after Super Mario Kart got really good. I mean, Super, I mean, Super Mario Kart is still a really good game. It's just... I mean, from what we got in the future with, like, Mario Kart 8, with Mario Kart uh, Wii, all that jazz, it's safe to understand why that game no one really remembers anymore. You've got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me. You're going to blue shell me right in front of the finish line. Oh. Well, these Bowser got knocked out, so that's okay. I don't mind losing to Daisy. I'm not losing to friggin' Bowser. I'm Mario, damn it! I can't lose to Bowser. I'd lose so much street cred. Ooh, Choco Mountain. That's Lewis's favorite course. I wonder how he would handle these new uh, Mario Kart games. So I was playing. I was actually at their house. I think it was last summer, for like a uh, just like a barbecue. And he and he was playing. And he told me he was playing. Uh, he picked up a copy of. Like, he was craving to play a Pokemon game, so I'm like, okay. Uh, he didn't have his old Game Boy, so he couldn't play his old Pokemon game, so he picked up a uh, Nintendo DS, and he picked up... Well, he wanted to pick up, uh... Like, uh, one of the newer games. Like, he wanted to pick up Black, and I said, dude, you're not gonna know any of the Pokemon. So, you know, so he went to, uh... Him and I actually went to, uh, Play and Trade that day, which is a local, uh, game store, in case you're in a different country watching this. I'm amazed. A lot of my people that watch my videos come from, like, England and Germany. Like, seriously? People in Germany want to listen to me? That's awesome. But anyway, we went to Play and Trade, which is a local video game store, and we actually picked up a copy of Leaf... I picked up a copy of Fire Red because I didn't have... because my copy broke. And he picked up a copy of Leaf Green because he wanted to say, oh, I'm gonna catch them all. I'm like... Dude, you do realize there bit there are more Pokemon since Gen 2, right? He's like, oh yeah, but but I'll just I'll just gradually get my way into them. I'm like, uh, Lewis, what? There are like over 700 Pokemon now. I haven't even gotten into Gen 5 yet. I'm like, in the generations I'm up to, you're up to like 490, maybe even 500 if you count the uh, Pokemon you can't catch by normal means, such as uh, Deoxys and. Uh, RCS, Mew, all that jazz. It's, it's like insane. Okay. And then we ended up playing Pokemon, and he ended up playing Leaf Green. He has the, uh, he also got a GameCube while he was there, and he got the, uh, actually, I had the, uh, what to call it, the, um, the, the Game, the Game Boy player on the GameCube that you could just attach right to the bottom. So he was playing that game. And he was asking me so many questions. And I'm like, he's like, because he was playing, he played Gary for the first time and found out that Gyarados knows Intimidate. And he's like, oh my god, why, why does this thing know Intimidate? That, that's just so crazy. I'm like, am I like, what's Intimidate? I'm like, it lowers your attack. It's an ability. All Pokemon have abilities. Since when? I'm like, 
since Gen 3 opened, dude. Seriously, get with the program. Oh, but he says he's, he's getting a bit better. The problem is he's obviously in his mid-20s, so it's like, do I really want to spend so much time playing, like, Pokemon? I mean, he's not like me. He's not like an avid gamer like me. And he's more of like a uh, jack-of-all-trades gamer. Like, he can... He does little bits of everything. He's still one of the best uh, Pokemon trainers I've seen, but again, he's just sort of... It's good for him, not great. That, that's what the best I can say. As I cruise to my second victory here at Choco Mountain. Thank you, Mario. Alright, what do we got now? Luigi Circuit. This is actually a fun course. From the Game Boy. Actually, in this one, I, re I, I did not like this one in the Game Boy. Because in the Game Boy one, it was such a bitch to drift in that one. That you'd always bump into the puddles and you'd always slide out of control. Because apparently, puddles are like that and you automatically lose control. It's not like you your car just slows down a bit like mine does. Or some cars that are all-terrain vehicles and all-weather vehicles that don't even have to worry about that. And then we won't have to worry about them at all because we'll have flying cars. At least in the future. In the future, everything will be better. No, it won't. <laughs> Not in a country where, where almost none of our uh, electable candidates are any good. I'm sorry if you like them, but to me, I, I'm... I would like to remain impartial, but... Oh, crap. Right into the puddle, as I was just saying. Maybe that's Trump firing me from YouTube. I don't know. Shit. Shit. Oh, damn it. DD, get out of my way. Eat blooper! Alright. One down, one to go. Okay, Bowser. It's just you and me now. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes, I sense her presence. Oh, come on! Oh, just so you can friggin' drift, you bitch. <laughs> Ugh. Ha! Nice shot! Oh, damn it, couldn't take advantage of it because Bowser's car is too friggin' fast. I love how he can handle it. The computer can handle Bowser's car just friggin' fine. But I can't. Can't really handle Mario's car that well either. Okay. Give me something good. Give me something good. Ooh, nice. A bomb. Uh, let's just get rid of Yoshi. Because he's coming up on my ass. Okay, good. I'll take finishing in third. It's not the end of the world, especially since... I won my first two races. And the last one is actually at a place I kind of like. They're at Mushroom Bridge. From the GameCube one. It's not my best course, I will admit that. But you know what? It could be at a worse course from the GameCube game. It could be Dino Dino Jungle. I am awful at Dino Dino Jungle, in case you're wondering. Like, if you're ever going to race me at uh, in Mario Kart 60... In Mario Kart, Mario Kart Double Dash... You want to choose Dino Dino Jungle. I suck at that. No matter what combination of drivers I use, it's awful. Mushroom Bridge. I'm good at Mushroom Bridge. Oh, not good. I'm I'm passable at Mushroom Bridge. What I really love in Mushroom Bridge is just just how much you'd love to ram them right into cars and how far backwards they can go. Because the lighter you are in that game, I think the farther back you go. But if you, but the bigger you, the the uh, bigger you are, if you get hit, the more likely you are to. Uh, no way, no way in hell, Bowser. No way in hell. The longer it takes you to get up after getting hit. The only thing I really can't stand about Mario Kart Double Dash is when you get like blown up by something or run over. Because it's possible in that game to get run over. It takes you so long to recover. Because you have two drivers, someone has to be dragged along the side of the road because they suck. I mean, it's it happens sparingly, but believe me, it can happen. And it can devastate your shots at uh, your shot at winning. So much to the degree 
where I actually had the co-op beating the uh, spe the uh, special cup in that game with my friend Alex. I mean, it was absolutely insane playing that game. Well, at least it's just a mushroom. Could be worse from Bowser's end. And the fact that Daisy is in uh, third makes it even easy. It makes it even better on me because now I could actually slack off for a bit, or not just have to worry too much about having to be perfect and not. I can make a mistake on a turn, is what I'm saying. But usually in the uh, cups, it's like, nope, you gotta be precise. You gotta be perfect because if one slip up and you're a dead man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Can we make it? Can we make it? We're gonna make it? Oh, we're gonna make it. We made it before the red shell hit us! Yeah! Hell yeah. Awesome! That is six wins. Oh wow, everybody remain in the same spot. That's actually kinda cool. Not gonna lie, it's actually kinda cool. And our letter grade... Hey, yeah, hey, bada bing! And we unlocked the lightning cup to the Retro Grand Prix in this engine class. Yeah, suckers! Next episode of Mario Kart DS, we will be taking on the lightning cup. I bet you guys were expecting me to use the Rainbow Road, but no. I actually think I might do Rainbow Road. I think I'll have to do Rainbow Road next. I mean, the Special Cup. I, just, I, have to, I like this nice little rhythm we have of old and new, old and new, old and new, old and new, old and new. But one thing I do have to tell you guys about is missions. Now, missions, as you know, you have to do specific things all in order, all that stuff. The problem is I can't do some of these things until I can master drifting without being able to use the D-pad because, as you know... I can't use my controller to play DS games, which sucks, but you know what, that's fine. If I don't find a way to do that, I have a backup plan for this game, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, before we take on the special, uh, the mirror mode cups, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up battles, so we're going to be doing a couple episodes of both the, t both the uh, battles, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, I got, I got everything planned out for this, so you guys don't have to worry about a thing. This should be a fairly long project along which along with a few others will help uh, pave the bridge to, until we can play Kingdom Hearts in either January or February whenever I get the project off the ground because it's not going to start until after Christmas I, I'm not going to start recording until after Christmas but anyway thank you guys for joining me I'm Nintendo Man 64 join me next time where we take on the special cup until then sayonara